Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I want to talk about Melodyne 5 Assistant, which is what I bought. There are three versions. There's Essential, Assistant, and Editor. And basically I didn't feel the need to buy Editor because that's basically allowing polyphonic audio, which I don't tend to deal with. I mean, it'd be really cool if you were very smart and in tune with uh, music theory and stuff like that because you could create some really insane things with that but for myself i'm basically just doing vocal editing for that so i figured assistant would be what i needed and the difference between assistant and the essential is basically there's only pitch and timing with essential and what's added to assistant is you have vibrato phrasing formants and dynamics so basically what i really use is isn't much vibrato or phrasing but formants and dynamics i found really help it basically allows you to take something that is too quiet and make it louder or vice versa and to tweak the formant is basically how you sang it in terms of the throat like how it sounds so you can tweak that as well so assistant has a little bit more than essential which i felt like was worth buying but with all that being said i'm going to show you how to use melodyne 5 assistant and how i use it it's really easy actually it's simple once you get the hang of it, it might take like a day or two because there is a bit of a learning curve, but hopefully this video will help with that. And I just want to say I can definitely see how people might be insecure about their voice because basically all things that are being created today, or most things I should say, are using Melodyne. And it can take something that's off and literally correct it to make it perfect. And even if it sounds a little bit weird, where Autotune might make it jump to a certain note and it might sound weird with Melodyne you can pull the note down let's say that you sang it sharp a little bit you can pull it down and then adjust the formant and basically make it sound like you didn't mess up at all so I can see how people would listen to other artists and say oh man maybe I'm not a good singer I don't think that's the case I think that people really are just using uh, this editing software that is making them sound amazing not everybody but a lot of people Okay, so I'm in Logic and I've been working on this song, which is a whole other story because I actually, you know, changed the key a whole step up and then realized that it was right the first time. So I had to re-record everything. So that's been a whole process. But this first part of verse one is already corrected with Melodyne. So let's just listen without Melodyne and then we'll throw it on. And then we'll actually go to the second part of verse one and we'll correct it in real time. And I'll show you how to use all these tools. So this is without it. I used to think that I hate myself. All my dreams are left on the show. I wish I said that I need some help, but I can. Okay, so this is with it. I used to think that I hate myself. All my dreams are left on the show I wish I said that I need some help But I can Okay, so the difference to me is pretty large, to be honest with you. Like, I was singing flat for certain things, and all I did was pull it up to pitch just a tiny bit. I wasn't singing totally off. It wasn't terrible, but you know, it was enough to make a pretty big difference when you use Melodyne. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the second part of verse one and we're gonna correct that right now in real time. Okay, so let's listen first without it. You were the one that you led away. I will fly to another state. If it meant that I'd see your face again. But the story Okay, so that's without it. Now, what you have to do to actually get your audio into Melodyne is click this transfer button. And what that's gonna do is record everything that you see uh, in that blue part there, right here, and it's gonna record it into Melodyne, and that's where you actually tweak it. So we're gonna click transfer, press the space bar to play. You were the one that you led away. I will fly to Okay. 
Okay, so you can see it just analyzed all that audio and it literally took everything into account and here are all the different pitches for the notes that I was singing. And if you know what key you're in, I'm in the key of F major, so there's only one flat note and that's B flat. Other than that, everything is going to fall on a, a regular note, not a flat or a sharp note. I didn't sing this too bad. You can see that all of these are roughly falling where they're supposed to go. But you can tell that on certain notes, I am a little bit flat. Like right here, when I'm trying to hit this A, I'm a little bit flat. Right here, when I'm going back down to the F, it's a little bit flat. So we're gonna correct those in real time. And it's actually really easy. Okay, so let me just run through these tools. You have your main tool here, which actually you can click right away and start moving stuff. But you also have this scroll tool, which is gonna allow you to kind of hone in on different areas quickly. Then right here, you have your pitch tool. And you also have a pitch modulation tool, which I actually use quite often, because you can see right here, I'm modulating up a little bit too much with my vocal take. So you can actually split this and then pull it back down. I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. The first thing we'll talk about is just the pitch tool. So the, the main thing you're gonna wanna do is take the pitch tool here, and right there you can see it, it analyzed everything, and you can actually just double click all of these things into place, and that's gonna make it perfect. The problem with making everything perfect is that it sounds robotic, so you don't want things to be perfect. You still want them to sound human, in my opinion, unless you're going for like a share sort of effect. But let's say I did want to do that. You would just double click. You can see it just pulled that up, pulled that into place, pulled that down. It's very quick. It's very easy. Um, but we're going to go ahead and undo that. A really cool thing too is when you hold the note down and you click on it, you can actually hear how it sounds. So you can hold this down and then pull it up to where it sounds good in your ear. Which is a very cool thing. Now what I was talking about with the dynamics versus just the basic editor that comes with Essential is this tool right here, this amplitude tool. And I'm gonna be jumping around because it helps me to explain things. This amplitude tool allows you to actually make this smaller. Like you can see this vocal part is a little bit louder than other parts, especially right here too. People aren't gonna really like that when they're listening back. So what you can do is take the amplitude tool, click it, and then pull down. And you can adjust it to be either louder or quieter. So I'm gonna really exaggerate this so you can get a feel for it. So that sounds good right there since I'm really trying to emphasize the word were. Now to the left of the amplitude tool is the formant. And this is what I was talking about too. You don't have this in essential, which I think, you know, is kind of essential to have it in assistant, to be honest, because if you're changing the pitch and it's jumping too much, it can sound really robotic, but you can actually use the formant tool to kind of level that out. So let me uh, t show you what I'm talking about. Let's say that we pulled this up. I think that actually sounds good, but let's say that when I pulled it up, it sounded a little bit too high in terms of the formant. You could actually take the formant and you'll see these lines right here. You can pull it down, which is actually gonna make it sound a little bit deeper. If you pull it up, it's gonna sound a little bit higher. To me, that actually sounds a little bit more natural instead of having it where it was because the formant's a little bit too high. I'm singing it and it sounds a little bit like it's auto-tuned. Now, let me show you a really cool tool, and I use this all the time. This is the note separation tool, okay? So what we're gonna do is let's go back to the pitch tool to get rid of that confusing stuff. 
and we'll go over here to the note separation tool and this really allows you to fine tune things so as i said over here this vibrato whatever's going on right here that really is undesirable because when i'm singing that i'm kind of going up in pitch and you can see that it's going up to a b flat it is still in the key but it doesn't sound good i'm not trying to do that so what you're going to want to do is go to your note separation tool and then you go to this part right here and you double click and now that actually separated that part into two notes then you can go back over here to your pitch tool and you can pull this down now let's listen back it stays on A. This is still doing a little too much vibrato, in my opinion, because I want this to level off and be a little bit more flat. So what you're gonna wanna do is stay on this pitch tool, but you're gonna wanna go to the pitch modulation tool. And what that does is takes this vibrato and it actually can squash it and make it a little bit um, into a more linear sort of thing instead of being super vibrato-y, if that's even a word. So we're gonna click on that and pull it down. These are very, very subtle differences that you may say to yourself, well, what's the point? There is a point because it sounds better, you know, and this is what professional engineers are doing. They're, they're going in with the audio and they are tweaking it for the best of singers. and. Uh, I was even watching something recently, and someone asked Justin Bieber, do you use autotune? And he said, Melodyne. Everybody uses Melodyne, literally everybody, including him, and he's a fantastic singer. So you kind of got to take that into consideration. Um, I kind of would be really hard on myself and try to sing things absolutely perfectly, and I still try to the best of my ability, but I have no problem making subtle changes to things with Melodyne because... Everybody does it, and I do think that it sounds better. The pitch drift tool, so that's kind of in the same category here. You would go to the pitch drift tool, and this is exactly what it sounds like. It's like at the end here, let's say that instead of being how it was before, let's say that I corrected it, but I wanted it to tail off a little bit at the end. You could actually take this pitch drift tool, and you can see the percentage here of how much that's happening, and you can go up or down it's basically gonna drift up or drift down. So that's mainly what I use. So these three buttons over here are really cool too. You can actually click Command A or Control A, whatever keyboard you're using. And then you have correct the pitch on a macro level and you can actually snap things and pull them into where they're supposed to be. And this is a really fast way to correct everything. So you can go up to 85% and click there if you still want it to sound a little bit human, or you could go 100%, snap everything in so it sounds perfectly, which I'm sure a lot of people actually probably do. You also have the ability here to quantize the timing on a macro level. So you can choose whatever note you're trying to snap. Let's say you wanted eighth notes. You can see how everything is starting to snap to eighth note so obviously I don't want that I, everything is in time but it's cool to know that you could do that over here you also have the ability to level the notes on a macro level and that has to do with either getting louder or quieter so you can make the quiet notes louder you can see the change right here those are the quieter notes or you can make these louder ones quieter very cool allows you to tweak things very fast get things at a macro scale moving quickly all right so that's melodyne 5 assistant and i definitely recommend getting it over essential because there's just a few more things that you can tweak with and uh, you have the amplitude and you also have the formant which is really cool and i think if you really want things to sound natural it's important to have the formant tool especially uh, and, you know, the amplitude tool is cool too because it will make it sound similar to like a compressor would. If something's too loud, you can make things quieter for a specific note. So I hope you guys got something out of this video. I'm not sponsored in any way, shape, or form, but I do use Melodyne quite frequently. So, uh, yeah, it's a really, really cool editing software. So if you like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It helps out a ton. And until next time, peace.